Yes. We want to talk to the people then about locks and the different nations, groups, tribes. We have locks. Come out away. The first time we hear about locks was Samson in the Bible. We have locks. And then we hear about other people, but we never identify them as such. Now, you have a group of people in uh, India. They call themselves Sadhus. You can go check it out. Sadhus is a Hindu branch religion where right across India you find these Sadhus. And they're not only locks, but they smoke ganja. They smoke ganja. They don't get arrested for it because everybody knows uh, it's part of them religious practices. Not like Jamaica where you just decide why you have to lock up a man because he have ganja. But the sadhus is a very important part of how even ganja reach on you. So, because the Indian them as indentured labels come, come on you. So, and a lot of them bring them culture and practices and all them something there. But the first time I actually see a dreadlocks in a magazine was when they called them the Bataway. The Bataway was or uh, is uh, some laxman in uh, Ethiopia. We live in uh, the hills, very religious. They don't go try them come out of the hills, it's for one and judgment on all the politicians them, and the king. And then go back up in uh, them hills. Very respected set of people, the Bataways. The next group of people I go amongst and I realize uh, Rastafari is not a unique group of people when it comes on to locks. Because you have so much different set of people that locks in the world. Yeah. It's just that we're not exposed to them and them culture. Well, the Bafal is a group of Muslims in a Senegal who recognize Sheikh Amadou Bamba. Well, if you might not have heard of these people, but you can go check it out, Sheikh Amadou Bamba. They recognize him as a great prophet. And him not only locks, but him don't wear shoes. As a matter of fact, if you go in a, a barfall ceremony, it feels like you're there with Naya Bingi. That is really what I talk about because we, we, we've been there in Senegal and go amongst them. But them is Muslims, the barfalls in our Senegal. In a, the Aboriginal group in a, Australia, them have locks. Them have locks. Now I was told that Rastaman get them locked. Well, it's two different versions of it. Because in a number six, it tells you, say, no razor shall come upon your head, neither shall you have strong drink, nor anything from vine, until the days of your separation. A whole heap of people say, it's this, so Rastaman get them idea of locks from. And next version of it is that during the time of the Mama uprising, a whole heap of you might not know about the Mama uprising, but then you can check that too. In Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, who was known as the Burning Spear, that is where Rodney, get, Winston Rodney, get him name from, from the former president of Kenya. Him named Jomo Kenyatta, and him called him the Burning Spear. Him lead an uprising against the British, and him called him Mama. And a whole heap of them did locks. And Rastaman seen these people fighting against white supremacy and colonialism in Kenya, decides that the imagery was part of that image where they would adapt. Thus, a whole heap of Rasta start to, to lax. As I say, it's two tier to it. One, number six, and two, the idea that the Ma Ma was representing an uprising. Now, a whole heap of people talk about the Naya Bingi. I hear Rasta man talk about the Naya Bingi. The Naya Bingi is a woman in a Uganda. It has nothing to do with Ayla Selassie. Because people say Ayla Selassie is the head of the Naya Bingi. Not no go so. It's Italians spread that propaganda about Ayla Selassie. Say, this emperor Ghana, the people, them for, for wipe out white people and all these things. No, no go so. The Naya Bingi comes from the idea that this woman had a group of people who was chanting down colonialism and slavery from Uganda go right down. And what happened is that she was recognized as Queen Naya Bingi. 
those who have Naya Bingi right at now in Jamaica. So, you can go search it out, figure it out, and see what we are talking about. Ayre. Well, let me hear you say, my.